Right, from one explosive grilling to another. A volcano has erupted on the Reykjanes Peninsula of southwest Iceland following weeks of intense quake activity. About 4,000 people so far have been evacuated after lava burst through a massive, and this is big, a three and a half kilometer crack in the volcano. Yes, many fear the eruption could lead to mass traveler disruption just in the week before Christmas, similar to the ash cloud of 2010. So far, it's not thought the explosion will cause the same level of travel chaos, but the area is on high alert for more seismic activity. Joining us now is uh, the best man for the job, senior meteorologist Jim Dale. Jim, thank you for joining us. We spoke to Simon Calder a bit earlier, and he said that uh, in terms of travel, I'm going there in a couple of weeks, I should be OK. But from your perspective, what happens if there's follow-up quakes or um, more uh, eruptions from this volcano? Could things potentially get worse? Yeah, they could. Um, I listened to Simon Calder as well, actually. I think he did a good job, the old volcanologist, <laughs> because it's not obvious as his field. And I should point out, actually, um, I'm a meteorologist uh, by trade, and this is a geological event rather than a meteorological event. It becomes a meteorological event when the atmosphere becomes involved, in other words, the pollution, as we saw in 2010 uh, with the dome, uh, the dome, uh, I, I wouldn't, not, not even going to pronounce the name of the volcano at the time because <laughs> I can't do it, but the dome one at the time, 2010, that shot a lot of um, ash and dust into the atmosphere. That's what caused the problem. This one is more of a fissure. It's more of a sort of crack in the Earth's core if, or, or the Earth's surface, if you like. And um, it's kind of low profile. And I think that is, is serving the traveling yeah. community quite well. We'll have to watch it. What I would say is that if it goes on and on, some of the some of the smoke that you're seeing on screen at the moment, some of that that that, that dust and what have you, may well get into the atmosphere and cause some some really nice um, skies at night, if you like the old red red sky at night. Type. Even in the UK, you know, we'll see that. That's the airflow from Iceland for the next few days, particularly towards Scotland. So that's going to be interesting. Um, whether it actually expands further. Uh, in terms of you know more activity and, and then and then obviously affecting the travel, that's something that obviously volcanologists and geologists are watching there there in Iceland at the moment. Jim, uh, Mike from Manchester has uh, written in, and perhaps this is tongue in cheek, but he's asking, uh, what's the carbon footprint of this <laughs> volcano eruption? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. There's bound to be some there, hasn't there? Because, look, yeah, Mother Nature does flow, uh, throw up events like this from time to time that do throw up carbon. Um, so there's obviously some involved. It's not the biggest ever. Um, it, on, on Iceland, the biggest volcano is Katla, which is a super volcano. Um, that hasn't gone up in the way that we hope it won't go up yet. Um, but sure, these kind of events, not just here, but around the world, do count in terms of the uh, the, the carbon footprint. Uh, there's 130 volcanoes, apparently, on, on Iceland. And one in every four years, you do get something of this nature uh, occurring. Because Iceland is essentially a volcanic island. It's created from volcanic activity. Yeah. Uh, and that's where it came from. So it continues to, to do what it's doing. And we're just looking at these live pictures now. It's fascinating how, I never knew this, the lava is still pulsating and spewing out. I thought that if there's a volcanic eruption, it's just one singular burst and the lava flows out. But even now with these live pictures we're seeing, um, for our radio listeners, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much lava just spewing out nonstop from the that's earth. The, that's the subterranean, yeah, that's the subterranean coming to the surface. And it's as if, you know, you, 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 you know, a kilometre down, two kilometres down, that will be happening also. And it's just basically broken the surface, the fish is opened up, and you're seeing what normally happens underneath, if you like. And that's that's essentially what's happened. It's, it's reached the surface. And it's going to be a hard, an hard task to say when this will actually end. It could continue on for a few weeks yet. So it's quite an interesting watch, to say the least. Just glad of one thing, that it's not actually caused any deaths or any injuries, as far as I'm, I'm aware. So, you know, yeah. at least it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a... How can I put this? It's, it's like, it's like a, an event to be watched and, and Mother Nature doing its stuff. Yeah. And I, I really revel in stuff like this. I've never been to Ice, and I think you're going, Ben, aren't you? Yeah, first time. Uh, I mean, should I still go, okay. Jim, or, or should I make alternative plans? 
No, I think you should continue and just take the advice. To just take the advice as in when you, you're about to go. They'll pull you. If there's a danger, they'll pull you. You won't be going anywhere. Skegness, perhaps, instead. So, <laughs> sorry, Skegness. Skeggy. But you know what I mean. Iceland is a fantastic place, even though I've never been. Ge geographically, to topography, massively uh, challenging. Uh, yeah. A great experience. I'm sure you will have. But stay safe. You don't have to be a hero. Don't have to be a daredevil. Like some people, some people have been ignoring be. the guidance and going up there and having having a look with their own eyes. But you can see a lot of it from Reykjavik itself, apparently. Amazing views, amazing views. But it's not people who are at risk, apparently, because everyone's been evacuated. It's the infrastructure, potential blackouts yeah. or, or the Blue Lagoon, yeah. of course, closed. But thank you very much indeed for your time. Senior You're meteorologist welcome. Jim Dale.